Terence. Do you have some time for a quick chat? Oh yeah, sure. I've got a meeting to run to, but please come on in. That looks interesting. What are you working on? Oh, this thing. This thing is RPA. It's where I get the computer to do my work for me. Uh, it's my live stream, you know. Me too. But is that part of your job? Well, no and yes. It's not part of my formal JD, but it's one of those digital skills that Singaporeans need to pick up in the new economy. And it's part of HTC's work to make sure that they're equipped with such skills. So I thought what better way to learn than by doing some of this myself. Hmm, why should people bother with digital skills? You know, every year, 10,000 new tech jobs are created, going mostly to Singaporeans. And even then, we still have 19,000 vacancies. So there are many, many different opportunities uh, to work in the tech sector, and you'll need these skills to be able to get those jobs. Oh, but is it difficult to learn? Well, that depends. Uh, obviously, you're not going to become a top coder overnight. But with platforms like this, uh, that uh, provide codeless coding, and of course, other programs, uh, everyone can pick up digital and be part of that digital economy. I'm going to head off to the pantry right now. Uh, feel free to join me. Okay. Another question. Uh, sure, go ahead. So, is helping people learn digital skills part of your work at HCC? Oh, absolutely. That's what Tessa is for. How does Tessa work? Tessa is a bit like a menu. Uh, it has various options. And depending on whether you're a company or a job seeker, uh, there's something for everyone. So, say you're a big company and you need tech talent, uh, you could consider the CLT. Or if you're a fresh grad and you have no tech skills but you want to move into tech, then maybe TIPP is something for you. Regardless of what you choose on the menu, ultimately, Tessa is about making sure that we have something that will enable Singaporeans to have the tech skills they need and industry to have the tech talent that they require. Anyway, over this way, let's go. Okay, wait for me. Hey, Terence. Hey, Nadia. Look, our scholars are in the magazine. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Isn't it? Thank you. I'll see you later. Sure, see you later, Nadia. Are these people involved in Tessa as well? Oh, they're not. They're the SGD scholars. Do they work in IMDA? Well, they don't because the SGD scholarship is a industry scholarship. So we train tech talent, we give them opportunities, and then they work in tech firms and non-tech firms, even the tech startups. It's really very exciting for me. Why is so exciting? Well, it's exciting because digital has expanded Singapore's boundaries beyond our shores, and our tech talent are making waves all around the world. IMDA is a part of this, we're helping them do that, and that's the really exciting part for me. What's even more exciting though is I'm going to get some water. How's the exciting drink? Oh, refreshing. Would you like some? I'm good, thanks. Okay. Coming back to your work at HCC, how have Singaporeans benefited? Oh, well, we've benefited quite a number of Singaporeans. Tens of thousands have gone through our skills training in TESA, and 10,000 over the last five years have been placed in good tech jobs. So I'm really happy to see that many Singaporeans are benefiting from these initiatives. Wow, that's impressive. And HCC did this all by itself? Oh no, I mean we have a great team here at HCC and IMDA, but really this is a collaborative effort with partners from industry, the different agencies and the educational institutions. All of this really wouldn't be possible without them. Final question. Yeah. Three words for expiring techies out there? Chase your dreams. And for tech companies? Singapore's got talent. Thanks so much for your time, Terence. Well, thank you. Hope you found it useful. Uh, I've got to go now. Go and find some good jobs for Singaporeans. See you. Okay, bye. Hi, everyone.